While Kansas has no statewide elected officials on the ballot, in Missouri you're expected to make choices for every statewide office. You've heard about Todd Akin and Claire McCaskill for U.S. Senate, as well as the candidates for governor. But what about state treasurer? How does one even weigh up a state treasurer? Clint Swifel and Cole McNary? Who are these people? And what is the big issue that divides them? Uh, let's start with you, Lynn. Well, Clint is the incumbent, and he actually was elected by a very narrow margin in 2008 when the Democrats had a little bit of a wind behind their backs. Um, he's got a, a, this is a tight race. He is up against a gentleman who is in the state legislature. I, I, the, the, um, you know, the treasurer is the fiscal officer for the state. Uh, Clint argues that he's done a lot for um, uh, ensuring that families who are trying to get their kids into college, that they have a good, good program for that. And I think his opponent would like to focus on pension reform. Why should we care about this race, Dave? Well, only because traditionally down ballot races give you some clue as to the rising stars in each party. Because they become but the, governors of the United States Senate, right? Don't they? But but uh, you know the treasurer's job, kind of like the secretary of state's job, is largely administrative, and so you need to pick the best administrator. And uh, by and large, people vote party on things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, the one thing that, they, that the treasurer will do that's very important to Missouri is they manage the state's investment funds, like with pension. And so they're both, the issue that they're really splitting hairs about is transparency and how they'll spend that money. So it is an important decision, especially when we start to see need for pension reform and how those monies are invested. We saw a lot of state treasurers across the country when the market bottomed out in 2008 who had invested that money poorly. So this is an important decision, but one a lot of people don't quite fully understand. Some of you may be seeing the name Shane Scholler and Jason Kander for the first time on your ballot on Tuesday. They want to be your Missouri Secretary of State. Now, you could simply look at the D or R next to their names. Can we get a brief biographical sketch on these two men? Well, Jason really wants to focus on uh, campaign finance reform and ethics. He's very big on that. And he's from Kansas he's, City. And he's the Democrat. And Shane Scholler, his big thing is uh, photo ID for voting in Missouri. Okay. And the big distinction between these two candidates, Dave? Well, the, uh, the reason this is important, Nick, is because the Secretary of State does write ballot language, exactly. as we just talked about with Robin Carnahan. And they often write the language, both parties do it with a partisan slant, because the way you write that language can affect the vote. So you, we should pay attention to the winner here. If the Democrat wins, ballot language will be written in a certain way, a Republican potentially the other way. Court battles will ensue. That, that really is more partisan than, say, the treasurer's Well, and I think Shane ways. has had a lot of backing from Rex Sinkfield, right. who likes to put initiatives on the Missouri ballot. And wants and he that will... language written in a way that would be supportive of his efforts. Stacy. Well, and you see the Republican in this race wanting to see it more of a commission that would, would draft this language as opposed to in his office, and therefore maybe making it more ballot friendly, understandable to people, and more likely to be passed. You're also being asked to pick an attorney general. Chris Coster, a Democrat, already has the job. Or should you go for someone different? That would be Republican Ed Martin, a former chief of staff, to Missouri Governor Matt Blunt. But what kind of job has Chris Costa done as Missouri Attorney General, Stacey? Well, Chris Costa has taken some uh, heat as being Obama's attorney, and, it, and a lot of it goes back to the uh, the whole fight over the Affordable Care Act. Uh, Costa is a former uh, prosecuting attorney, and, and, he, and he says that that, that litigation experience is, is principal to his office. Uh, he also wrote very successful, or his office successful briefs, uh, against uh, the Affordable Care Act uh, that the Supreme Court and some appellate courts uh, agreed with Missouri's decision. So, uh, but he, he's come under uh, a lot of fire uh, as the Democrat. How would Ed Martin be different? Well, I think Ed, uh, and I think his work with Matt Blunt showed this, is much more uh, doctrinaire, uh, much more cons uh, um, attentive to conservative causes. He would, for example, I, sh I would assure you, would launch very various legal attempts to repeal parts of the Affordable Care Act, as an example. Um, again, the Attorney General's job is not exactly what people think of it. It, it isn't as if Chris Coster is trying murder suspects, right. as his ads would imply. Right. It has an administrative function and a choice function. And uh, the, the, again, political philosophy may help guide uh, voters' decision in this race. We're not going to talk about the United States Senate race or governor's race on the program, as we've already talked about those. But you will be voting for lieutenant governor, and that's Peter Kinder, who at one time had great designs on being governor. He's the Republican incumbent running against Susan Monty. She's the Democrat. Tell us about her, Lynn. Well, she was the state auditor and got voted out. 
Uh, I think she would like to return the job to be kind of an emphasis on the elderly and the military, which is uh, veterans, which is where it traditionally has been. Uh, obviously, Peter Kinder is somewhat of a controversial candidate. He, he did, wasn't successful in his governor. Um, why, why was he controversial? Uh, because he had some uh, accusations of personal misconduct, of spending money improperly, and uh, that's why he... Uh, quickly, name me one thing he's done that's effective in that well, position. Well, he's the lieutenant governor. The lieutenant governor doesn't have much really to do except to travel around the state and serve for the governor. We should change that in Missouri.